Gomen Allasaman, continuing our series. We left off with Olav Tryggvason, who had used lies, trickery, and divide and conquer tactics to take control and force Christianity on Norway. It's not Christianity that's the problem. This has been done many times in history, forcing your beliefs on others. Today, it is actually happening worse than ever, and it has nothing to do with religion. So, the enemy is not any type of religion. The enemy is the idea that your beliefs are better than someone else's, and forcing that on people. And Olav was the worst culprit of that in all Scandinavian history, and most people don't know that. So, here we go, all the cruel things he did. As we mentioned in the previous video, Olav burned down sacred pagan temples in Møre and Rumstal. He also tricked the high priest chieftain Skeggi to show him the temple in Trondheim when he murdered him and had his men chop down the sacred statue of Thor there. The most notorious thing Olav did though was to Rød the Strong. Uh, you've heard of that story, I'm sure. Olav continued um, to most pagan parts of Norway, the last pagan parts of Norway that were left. The strongest one was Halugala, and he had a series of battles with the warriors there. But one night he snuck up on their leader, Herod the Strong, while he was sleeping, and he demanded that he would convert to Christianity. Herod refused, and Olav proceeded to shove a drinking horn down Herod's throat, and he forced a snake down there with a hot iron, with the snake gnawing its way through Herod's insides and out, killing him. Olav also took Herod's ship that was named Oymenlangi, the Long Serpent, that we will come back to in the next episode, but that was the best ship in all Scandinavia. Also famously, Olav came to a place called Tensberg, where there were many, many pagans who were good with magic. He got them all drunk at a feast and burned them all in a hall. Another famous example is where he found some pagan wizards in Avald's nest that he executed. He chained them up to a small island that was low, so when the tide came in, their heads would go below the water and they would drown. All for simply believing in the land spirits and using these energies to practice their magic. Olav also wasn't very kind to women or animals. Olav forced his own sister, Astrid, to marry a chieftain's son named Erling. She didn't want to marry him, so Olav responded by stealing her hawk and plucking out all its feathers. His sister then agreed to the marriage. Olav also wasn't the most charming man when it came to finding a bride. He wanted to marry a Swedish princess so that he could take over Sweden with power too. The Swedish princess was named Sigrid, and he stole a ring from a pagan temple to give to her as a wedding gift. She saw that it was a fake and didn't trust him after that. And he went to her again one time and asked to marry. And she almost kind of agreed to it. But then he said that she should be baptized. And then she said, no, I will not abandon the faith of my kin. And Olav responded by slapping her and calling her a heathen bitch. <laughs> so, now, after all that Olav had done, that was the final straw. This enraged all of Scandinavia to the tipping point. Contrary to all these shield maiden myths, women were the utmost protective in Scandinavia at the time, and you did not lay a glove on one. Especially a noblewoman or a princess. So this sparked the events that we will go over in the next video. But this sums up Olav's cruel deeds. Even though I'm sure he did much worse things in order to achieve power and convert the people of Norway, there were other kings that did these same kinds of things, but Olav was the worst. And I think this is actually an atrocity um, that we might actually put up a statue to honor him that still stands strong right in the middle of Trondheim in Norway. Funny enough, after all he did, this statue is still right there to honor him. That's all for today. Video number five and the last video of this series will be coming in just a few days.